On a hot Sunday morning in August 1945, a group of people met in a Boy Scout hut in University Park. The following month, at the Feast of St. Michael's, the group, now over several hundred, executed the charter, and the mission of St. Michael and All Angels was born. The church grew rapidly from a Quonset hut to our magnificent building. The lovely reredos of white Italian marble, the figures of St. Michael's angels, the exquisite Genesis window, and the recent addition of Bart Forbes' beautiful stained glass doors. The church is a testimony to the devotion of its people, then and now. But you know as well as I that it's never the building that is important. It's the people. From the very beginning, there's always been a special spirit at St. Michael's. The founders were people who had a vision, who worked hard to see that vision become a reality. Today, St. Michaelites are the same kind of people. People who care about their fellow members and their community and are willing to do something about it. And I have to add, when all is said and done, St. Michaelites are the kind of people who love to celebrate their life together, with a party, anytime, anywhere. From its early days in our parish, the women have been an integral part of everything we are and do, especially as it relates to mission and outreach. From the early days of the start of the Women's Exchange and all of the benefits that come from that shop, that wonderful little shop in Highland Park Village comes an enormous array of mission and outreach in Dallas, beyond Dallas, all over the world. As early as 1946, they held a rummage sale, earning $5,000, an exorbitant amount in those days. In 1958, they opened the Women's Exchange, to immediate success. Today, it's considered the go-to shop for unusual gifts and exquisitely wrapped packages. Pancake suppers, bazaars, a parish fair, our parish shows, and then what we love most, parish parties followed. Over the years, the Women's Gift Committee of St. Michael's has given almost $8 million to the Dallas community. Last year alone, the exchange joined with volunteers, ladies who lunch, and generous parishioners, enabling the gift committee to grant $500,000 to over 100 applicants. Lola, here we are. For example, Meals on Wheels. Meal on Wheels is, is wonderful because it gives me a vegetables, give me a meat and, you know, and milk and whatever. Whole yeah, whole meal. Begun by our own parishioner, Mary Bartholo, who at 90 years old still drives her Meals on Wheels route. It serves meals to 4,000 Dallasites, five days a week, every week. And there's a waiting list for meals as well as drivers. This is Mary and her friend Lola. Do you mind me asking you how old you are? 79. Well, you know how old I am? No. Guess. Can you guess? No, not really. Oh, I know you don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to be 90. Oh, my God. Next month. Mm, Isn't that lucky? I tell that. you, I get feel so good. lucky mm -hmm. to be able to do what I do. Yeah. Because I feel Still like... Still drive and everything. Yeah. That's wonderful. Well, it's crazy, but it's fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Notre Dame is a unique kind of school in Dallas. Its mission is to teach children with intellectual inabilities and ease their way into the community. Many of these children have difficulty speaking clearly. This is a class in which the children are learning ways to communicate more effectively. Uh, good. Good. <laughs> Brother Bill's Helping Hand is a faith-based community and has enriched the lives of those in West Dallas for 75 years. 
in a myriad of ways. A free grocery store, a community clinic, job training for women, and educational classes for everyone. And finally, Jubilee. In 1997, St. Michael's began a renewal program of the South Dallas community. Today, there are 180 students enrolled in the after-school program. Adult education is focused on job training. The classes are at capacity. The sports program serves a large population. In the summer, 400 children came through the program. For seniors, there are health care and exercise opportunities. The women continue to be a very, very important part of our ministries today and into the future. We look forward to all the ways that they will touch our life, compel us to be about the gospel of Jesus Christ. You've seen the spirit of St. Michael's at work, and you've seen the difference St. Michaelites can make. Tonight, you can make the difference.